Hey, and yep, still wearing the same clothes because I'm doing everything at the same time because it saves so much time. And today I want to talk to you, as I just bring this a bit closer so you can see my clothes, about my Pottermore journey. I am an avid Harry Potter fan. I mean, I am so passionate about Harry Potter. I love it so much. In fact, pretty much if my aunt was to come now, I would leave and I'd probably faint from absolute happiness. I am that obsessed. And yes, I might, I remember old enough to remember when the books first came out. I have a full set of the first edition books from the second till the very last. And then when I found out that there's going to be an eighth Harry Potter book, oh my god. I pretty much went mental and was like crying and screaming. It's like, oh my goodness, it's continuing. I love Harry Potter. In fact, so much I'm hopefully getting a tattoo of the Deathly Hallows combined with Guns N' Roses because they are like my favourite band ever. But today I'm going to talk about my Pottermore journey and what Harry Potter means to me and why I think you should, if you've never read Harry Potter and only watched the movies, why you should read the books because they are amazing. So first off, you've probably seen in other videos, I have this necklace, which is Harry Potter's glasses and a scar. You can wear it either way. I also have Hogwarts raincoat, which you've probably seen in some Instagram photographs today because this is, I'm putting this up on the Tuesday after the book's been released. And I also have this, now this is, I had it from when I was about 13. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's so cool. It's my Hogwarts Gryffindor Colours t-shirt. I was going to wear it today, but I couldn't be bothered getting changed. But these are just some of the things I own. I also have a wand and some Harry Potter glasses. Not glasses, actually, like drinking glasses because I like craft beer. That's another video for another day. And basically... I have loved Harry Potter because my first remembrance of Harry Potter is going into my local library and picking up this book, non-descriptive book, and it was the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with J.K. Rowling. I never thought anything more about it. I read it and I was hooked and that was it. And from then on, any time the books were released from the 2nd to the 7th, I went early to the local bookstore and got my books. That might have been at midnight or 6 o'clock in the morning. And I got my books and I was engrossed for the whole two days. Like nobody could disturb me and everybody did. I was like, leave me alone, I'm reading Harry Potter. Harry Potter means a lot to me because it helped me with my grammar. It helped me with my reading. It helped me with my love of stories and how I tell history from a very social, personal point of view. And also, it also helped me understand people from different religions, different areas, different races. They're all the same and, we, and they all go to Hogwarts and they all live under one roof, which is fantastic. And I just love Harry Potter and it just completely, completely entrenched in my love of reading and books. I hope to do some book reviews when I get more books and more money, when I get paid, yay, on this channel. And Harry Potter means a lot to me because it still makes me think that I should also be excited about things and believe in the good and all people, even if they don't seem good at the first time like Snape obviously I'm not gonna have any spoilers if you haven't read Harry Potter but you know what I mean if you know I'm talking about Snape. My favourite character is Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore who loves chamber music and lemon sherbets. I love Dumbledore because he's such an interesting interesting character to the whole Harry Potter saga and is every twist and turn his character is different. He's so well written and I think, think he is amazing. He's a, a, pers a wonderful person to be aspiring to because he takes everybody at face value and treats everybody the same. That's what Harry Potter means to me, that you can be completely different and like different things, but it, you should treat everybody the same. As Harry Potter comes from an unprivileged background and he is treated amazingly at ha Hogwarts compared to how he is treated by the Dursleys. And that's why I think you should treat everybody well. And that's what I've learned from Harry Potter and that you shouldn't stop believing in things that you love and that you should follow your passion because when JK Rowling was writing, writing Harry Potter she was told to write under a male pseudonym because they think, thought that her name as a female name wouldn't sell so she abbreviated to JK Rowling and hence people knew that she was a woman and it didn't matter and so that for me as a feminist I thought this is amazing I can do what I want and still be inspired by JK Rowling if I met her which would be like amazing I still want to go to Harry Potter land in London and Florida. I haven't been. I have a friend who lives near the one in London. So I really have to go. And my Pottermore journey is continuing because I just got the book and I'm reading it. I'm so excited. And I think that if you've not read the books, I think you should read the books and watch the film. Especially now that Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them are coming is coming out at the end, of the end of this year. Which I'm so excited about. That there's more Harry Potter Wizarding World going to be put out there. But from a different country in America. And I think... 
especially now if you haven't read Harry Potter and all the Pottermore journey stuff's coming up, you should definitely read it. And also, I just want an excuse to wear this. This is so amazing. I love it. My boyfriend makes fun of me because I love Harry Potter so much. I don't care. I love Harry Potter. I have a Hogwarts raincoat and I still wear it and I think it's amazing. So I would advise you to read the books, read all the books from The Cursed Child to The Philosopher's Stone. Watch the movies and the books because the books are different. Obviously they take things out and add things in to make it more dramatic for film. But seriously guys, you should totally, totally get on your own Pottermore journey. And anything about Harry Potter, I get a so Talk to you soon. Bye.